Before we dive into the latest Lakers news and rumors and an update from Sham Sharanya on the Lakers and Bulls saga, I want to ask this question. If you could only have one of these guys to trade for, who would it be? Type one for Levine, two for Caruso, or three for DeRozan. Welcome into the Los Angeles Lakers report by Chat Sports. I am Marshall Green. In today's video, we're just going to go over all of the latest reports that are coming out. We've been talking about Levine and the Lakers and DeRozan and Caruso and all those rumors, and there continues to be more smoke. There continues to be more gasoline poured, poured on this fire. And let's go to KC Johnson and see what he's saying about Zach Levine. We'll get to Shams in a second. But Johnson said trading Levine is the main organizational focal point for now. In fact, league sources said that at least for now, executive and VP of the Bulls is responding to inquiries on other players by saying he wants to see what the roster looks like post Levine trade first. To me, it sounds like the Chicago Bulls are motivated to get a deal done. And we're getting an update from Shams that said if any trade that involves the Lakers trading, uh, trading for Zach Levine, the Bulls are insistent on Austin Reeves and Rui Hachimura to be a part of that deal. The Lakers, from what we understand, do not want to give up on Austin Reeves and Rui Hachimura because when you talk about why the Lakers were so successful last year post-trade deadline is Austin Reeves became one of the best scoring guards in the league. He was one of the most consistent and efficient. And the addition of Rui Hachimura as well as other trades at the deadline put the Lakers in a spot as one of the best teams in the second half of the year. And you talk about why not trade Austin Reeves? Because even after a slow start this year, he's starting to come along. I understand the three-point percentage is still low at this moment. It's going to take some time to get that back to a level that all Lakers fans understand and honestly want him to shoot at. But right now, 46% overall from the field, giving you 14 points, five rebounds, five assists. That's almost the same exact numbers he gave you last year. Just the three-point efficiency is down. And I see that as a thing that's going to continue to improve as the season goes along, gets more in the rhythm, and gets more live reps. Look, the Lakers are playing this the right way, in my opinion. There's no need to rush into a Zach Levine trade right now. You have up until the February NBA trade deadline. And you don't always want to reel in or just focus on that first trade because something better may arise later. You don't want to trade all your chips and all your assets for Zach Levine and say another player who's better becomes available that may also want to be a Laker, and trading for Levine takes you out of those sweepstakes. Let it play out. Let the roster continue to mesh and continue to build continuity. Continue focusing on the Lakers and getting better, and then when January comes along, you get a better read on this team, and you see exactly what they need. I do like the idea of adding Levine, though. So I'll ask you this question. Would you give up Austin Reeves in a deal for Zach Levine? I think the question you got to ask yourself is, are we trying to go all in right now with LeBron? Or do we want to have Reeves stick around while LeBron is gone and him somewhat be a focal point of that retool and rebrand? What do you think? Type Y for yes, type N for no. We'll get to more updates and rumors in a second. But first, I got to tell you guys about our proud sponsor, Factor. When you go to factormeals.com slash NBA chat 50 and use the promo code NBA chat 50, you're going to get 50% off your order of factor. In this holiday season, you might be looking for nutritious, convenient meals to keep you energized on jam-packed days. Factor, America's number one ready-to-eat meal delivery service, can help you fuel up fast for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Chef-prepared, dietitian approved ready-to-eat meals delivered straight to your door. You'll save time, eat well, and stay on track with your healthy lifestyle while tackling all your holidays to-dos. If you're like me and you live a busy lifestyle, you work a lot, you don't always know where your next meal's coming from, and you don't want to take an hour out of your week to go grocery shopping and another hour to cook the dinner and clean up, you should get hooked up with Factor. It's awesome. I'm a big fan of it. The food is spectacular. It tastes amazing. I just feel good about myself when I'm eating it. I feel, I just feel like I'm being responsible. I'm saving money. I'm eating healthy. Go to factormeals.com slash NBA chat 50 and save 50% off today. All that information will be down in the comments and description of today's video. So there's been reports coming out the last couple of weeks that Zach Levine is not the main guy that the Los Angeles Lakers want to trade for. And while I don't fully believe in those reports, I think that could be Rob Palenka trying to do a little negotiating through the press. 
I do believe that Caruso makes a lot of sense. This is what The Athletic had to say on the latest Lakers trade rumors. Quote, in conversations I've had in recent weeks regarding the Bulls, there is real interest in Zach Levine. But I think it comes at the right price. I've actually heard that they are more interested in DeMar DeRozan and Alex Caruso. So let's break down why maybe Caruso is the guy they want to trade for more. One, there's a lot of fans still in the building that are fans of Alex Caruso. We know what he did for the Lakers when he was there. And Caruso gives you one of the best perimeter guard defenders on your roster. And when you add him next to a guy like Anthony Davis and LeBron James and all the versatile players the Lakers have, it's an easy step-in fit. And I don't think there would really be any time that it would take for them to get accustomed to each other. Also gives you a good outside shooter. And I've just seen over the years, when you watch LeBron James, he excels with a certain type of players. Guys that can catch and shoot. Guys that can get their own shot. And high IQ players that make easy plays. And that is what Caruso is. High IQ, high energy, test on defense, and a guy that just plays winning basketball. I love the fit with LeBron next to Caruso and AD. We're going to get to more. But first, got to make sure everybody is subscribed to the Lakers report. First, I just want to say thank you because we just crossed over 52,000 subscribers on the channel. That is a massive accomplishment. And it's all because of everyone watching right now. Help us get to 53,000 because we're never satisfied. We want to keep on going. Hit that sub button for daily Lakers content. All righty. Also, like the report came out from The Athletic, DeMar DeRozan also has a lot of fans inside the building. And that makes a lot of sense. Look, he's another guy that you can run your offense through and get you buckets late in the fourth quarter. And he might be a guy that you can get on a little bit of a discount as the Chicago Bulls are going the wrong direction. The same reporter for The Athletic said this, DeMar is someone that the Lakers have courted for several years now, dating back to originally Toronto and then San Antonio and now in Chicago. He's that over-the-top shot maker that the team seemingly doesn't really have outside of when LeBron's jumper is falling. And look, DeMar could be the missing piece for Darvin Ham. DeMar DeRozan is one of the few players in the NBA that is still an elite shot maker and a tough shot taker from inside the three-point line. When you talk about from that 13 to 19-foot range, DeMar DeRozan is one of the best in the business. He's a guy that can operate with his back to the basket, kind of like Kobe Bryant, to be honest with you. He's someone that can get you a bucket whenever you need. And we know in the late stretches of the NBA season, and specifically in the playoffs, in that fourth quarter, it's sometimes about just going and making a tough bucket. And DeMar DeRozan, he can do that. And in my opinion, he's one of the most underrated playmakers in the league. When LeBron's out of the game, you can have DeMar DeRozan almost act as somewhat of your point forward. So we've broken down every single player that the Lakers have been attached to that plays for Chicago. Zach Levine, in my opinion, the best player of the three, but he's also going to cost the most when it comes to giving up draft capital. Alex Caruso, he's just a guy that's going to fit in, play hard defense, make hustle plays. And DeMar DeRozan, kind of what you get in Zach Levine minus the three-point shot. He's also older, but I think it won't cost nearly as much. So I want you now to pick one to trade for. Type one for Levine, two for Caruso, three for DeRozan. And we appreciate you stopping by and making the Lakers report a part of your day.